Hello, vinyl community, and welcome to Beetle Brad's channel. Great to have each and every one of you here today, and I hope you guys are doing just fab beetleless. <laughs> well, I thought I'd do something kind of different. I'm in a different location. Show one of the photographs that I took of Strawberry Fields in Liverpool, England. Yeah. Um, I took thousands of pictures everywhere, all around Liverpool and London and throughout England and had a great, great time. But uh, back in America, and uh, I do have some more Beatle albums to show. And these are albums that I bought before I went to England. And I just haven't gotten around to showing them. So I thought I'd share them with you today and uh, maybe add them to your list of uh, Beatle albums that you're looking for. Or maybe not. <laughs> but I hope you do. Hope you like them. Um, starting off is this Beatles one, which is a great album. This is really nice, Tony Sheridan. And this is actually in a really just fantastic shape. Um, I'm really happy to get this. And like I said, this is, this is just excellent. Let me throw that up there and you can kind of get an idea of the songs and Tony Sheridan. Um, Neat part about it is it still has the original inner sleeve and then the record itself. I put all these, all my records in the poly fill, you know, just to kind of protect them and keep them clean. But the record, the record is just beautiful. Just nice shape. But I thought I'd show you, show you this and a bunch of other records that I got recently. Um, which are kind of fun to add to the collection. It's amazing how you can just never really stop collecting. There's just Beatles, and then you go for different countries, like this one. <laughs> now we're in a different country. We've now jumped to France, and this is Beatles, kind of like a Hard Day's Night version. Um, and I love the old, where is it? Oh, there we go. I couldn't, couldn't find it, but there's like the old Beatles logo. And the album itself, which is just terrific. Uh, about a month and a half ago, I guess it is, maybe, or maybe even a little little further back, maybe two months, Matthew Streak just recently showed this album, and he's got this as well. So it's kind of funny, you guys kind of, we all kind of follow each other, and it's like, hey, I just got that album, or I've got that in my collection, or I've had that, you know. So Matthew Street and Fit to Be Tie-Dyed and... Me, Mr. Mayo, you know, we all kind of, we all kind of uh, do collect. And it's kind of funny how sometimes we'll overlap each other and collecting and stuff. But yeah, this, this is from France. Really nice to have. So, and just for fun here, let's change out the picture. Another one of Strawberry Fields. It's kind of, kind of the same shot. Let's go for a different one. This is incredible. I mean, people, you know, I mean, the, the, you know, they do this at Abbey Road as well, but it's amazing how everybody writes on the Strawberry Fields, uh, which Beetle Brad did too. <laughs> I did, I did. They, they even brought us pens on the tour. They're like, here, we'll give you a pen. Go ahead and write your name up here. Or write your name over here. <laughs> um, this is really cool, this next album. I'm really pleased to get this. Ah, I was so excited to get this album. When I bought this, I was ready to do a video right then and there. Uh, this is Beatles Something New. Um, and I know a lot of you are like, okay, I've, I've got something new and I've seen something new. But the thing that blows my mind is it's still in the original shrink wrap and it still has the store uh, logo of, of the name of the store. But it just, it, it, it amazes me that you can still pick up albums today and here we are 2019 and this Beatle album something new and I can pick it up and find it to be still in shrink and that's just I don't know I'm still wrapping my head around that because you know you still find sealed albums and all that kind of stuff and that's kind of neat too um, and this is just in sparkly beautiful shape beautiful shape See, see, see? Take a look. Isn't that nice? Don't touch it. <laughs> it's just great. 
but so happy to get that. Um, and then this next album is a really special album. This is from Spain, Beatles album. And you can give the song listings there. I'm giving you fairly different countries and around the world to buy Beatle albums. So if you're out <laughs> wanting to look for them and you, you're shopping, you can certainly have fun in doing that. Here's the insert that was uh, for the album. I like these. We didn't do this in America at all, where they, they had the albums listed and stuff. But I, I think that's just kind of cool. Um, really nice. Kind of gives me an incentive to start collecting more albums from Spain. And I'll show you what the record looks like. Records. I had to set this down on my. I got a little table set up over here, um, and the record's just beautiful, just in great, great shape. And I'm really pleased to get this. Really pleased. I, I do not have this all my at, at all in my collection. I <sighs> can't talk. Um, and it's really nice, really nice, great sound quality. I'm enjoying that. So that's a great album. So, and then now back to America. And this album is also in its original shrink wrap, which I guess hopefully you can see that with the, well, I gave you a little bit of a glare. You can kind of, kind of see that, but that's, that's just excellent. All right, let's switch out a picture. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you get to see Beetle Brad twice here. Well, okay, here and here. <laughs> yeah, we'll cover that one up. Oh, my gosh. Um, so, yeah, here again, Beatles 6 album, still in the original shrink wrap. I just, I just think it's spectacular to run across these albums that are original shrink wrap, and it's just, just so cool. Uh, and it's a mono pressing, and so is the something new, if, if you're wondering. Um, and this is just in magnificent shape just in great great quality um i i highly recommend you pick up beatles six album in mono if you can find a mono copy and this one is just pristine it looks like it's never been played except by beetle brad <laughs> uh it's in great shape it really really is and i i love it and i i thoroughly enjoy getting this in mono because it's it's kind of a kind of a fun rare one to get in mono. Okay, next one up, we're going to Japan, and this is also in Shrink. Um, great album. I love this, and look at this. This has got a color shot on the back. <coughs> Excuse me, goodness, I don't know what that is. Um, color shot, really nice. I'm just amazed, there again, it's back back in Shrink, and it's just, in, just so nice. Um, and the album is just mint as can be. Um, and I've listened to it, and I've, I've, I've enjoyed the 66 concert. Um, I know it's up there on YouTube, but if you get a chance, take a look at the Beatles 66 Japan tour. They did two shows, afternoon and evening, in two different colored suits, light and dark. Um, the quality of it is just phenomenal. Plus, it's in color. And for 1966, I mean, it really shows how Japan was so advanced in um, what they were doing and all of the electronics and the, and the stuff that they had. So if you get a chance to do that, and there's just tons, <laughs> and I do mean tons, of Beatle news. Oh, my goodness. So I'll just kind of jump in. A lot of people have talked about this, but I just thought I'd throw it in on my channel. Uh, Paul McCartney's got a new book. Um, hey, grand dude. Uh, and for those of us in America, that book is in Target. And it probably will be in Walmart and several other stores as well. Um, still kind of debating if I want to get it or not. I caught the promo clip. I was in Target looking for it yesterday. And I caught the promo clip. And so I, I was going to record the promo where Paul McCartney's up on this big screen. And he's like promoting the book and talking about it. And then I thought... 
uh, I might get in trouble. I might get flagged because they like me so much on YouTube. So I decided not to do it. So, so I, yeah, you can't see that one from Beetle Brad. Sorry, but Target does show that. Um, and also the sad thing of Rick Ocasek passing away in the cars. I really like the cars a lot. Um, being a drummer myself, I do play drums. Yeah, I do play drums. I did play a lot of car stuff. Uh, a couple friends and I, we kind of had a band, oh, years and years ago, and we did play some car stuff. Uh, we never, we never played out on any circuits or played in bars or any of that. We played in Beetle Brad's parents' basement. <laughs> and my parents, they just loved it, just loved it. <laughs> yeah, right. So, yeah, but yeah, sad thing, Rick Ocasek, oh my gosh, uh, lead singer of the Cars. Um, unique voice and just a unique band, but nonetheless, they were they were definitely a fantastic band. Um, and then floating around also in Beatle News in 1969, they found, you know, it's from the film, not film, excuse me, it's a um, audio of the Beatles in 69, which I've never heard it. Um, and a few people said that they had. They talked about it on Breakfast with the Beatles this morning and talked about that it's out there. And, and I really hope that they end up making a CD of it um, to get, which would be terrific. I really would like to get that. But anyway, apparently it's, it's fairly rare uh, material about uh, John and Paul and George. Ringo wasn't there, so they kind of made a copy for him to listen to but it was basically the fact of them saying that uh abbey road wasn't going to be the last album so lots of times i think the beatles were not as harsh as they wanted to be and people in the media the media made them out to be like they were fighting all the time and it may not have been like that at all you know i mean at the very end they probably were quite bitter like like they say and let it be in the film and footage and all that kind of stuff. But you know, the bottom line, they, they still cared for each other. And maybe this audio portrays that. Um, fit to be tie-dyed Paul, he's talked about it, and me, Mr. Mayo, and uh, several other people. Uh, Matt, Matthew Street on his channel. These are all great channels. Everybody's got a fantastic channel. I watch them just like you guys do. So those are great. And also they premiered uh, Ringo Starr's brand new song on Breakfast with the Beatles this morning. Um, and that was a great album. Um, and the album's going to be coming out next month. This is September. It'll be coming out in October. Um, Ringo's new album will be titled What's My Name? And the new song I really like. I think it's really kind of a rocker, good song, What's My Name? I think it's a great song. My wife kind of thought it was kind of country, kind of kind of a pop country song, but I don't know, I really like it. But anyway, it's up on YouTube right now if you want to catch that. So just kind of giving you a little bit of information on some Beatles uh, stuff that's out there, of the albums that I showed you. So if you want to look for those when you're out shopping, I think it would be fun to add that to your Beatles collection. Plus, uh, the Beatles news, like I said, and I want to say hello to my new subscribers and my regular subscribers. Welcome to Beetle Brad's channel. This is just a lot of fun. I just have a good time showing vinyl and uh, showing you what's new or what's not new. And some of the albums that, that I've got over here that uh, you may want to just add to your collection. So uh, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. You guys are fantastic. I really do have the best viewers out there. Those of you guys that watch my channel and comment and stuff like that, it's just phenomenal. I really appreciate each and every one of you, and I really do care for each and every one of you. You guys are family. You're part of Beetle Brad's family and my wife. And there's Bentley right there. You can't see him, but he's snoozing on the couch like a goat. I'm surprised you can't hear him snoring. <laughs> Good watchdog. <laughs> Bentley will be coming up in some videos. For those of you who haven't seen Bentley, he's my beagle dog, and he shows up in the videos now and then. And he's just as cute as can be. What a stealing ham on the videos. All right.
Well, I've rambled on way too long and you guys got things to do and I appreciate each and every one of you watching my videos and being a part of my channel. And I want to say thank you very much. If you're just watching, subscribe to my channel. Be a part of Beetle Brad's commercial free videos. Yes, commercial free. <laughs> yeah, okay. I won't get into that one. That's, <laughs> that's for another day and another topic. All righty, vinyl community. As I say on my videos, I'm out of here. Take care, everybody. Great to see you.